and listen in the western. Three little words, past tense. You will notice in Arabic that in past tense verbs or doing verbs, the doll is mentioned at the end of word. Nahnu, we, for plural plus three, Darabna, we hit. They hit for male, Darabtum. They hit for female, Darabtunna. Darabu, they hit. Darabna, they hit. For do plus two, Darabtuma. You two hit for male and female. Daraba, they too hit for male. Darabata, they too hit for female. Now for singular plus one. Darabtu, I hit. Darabani, hit me. Darabta or darabti, you hit for male and female. Daraba, he hit. Darabat, she hit. Present tense verbs or doing words. The door is mentioned at the front of the word. If you practice this table on other two or three letter words, it always works most of the time. A good example for two letter words. Ultu, I said. Ulta, you said. Ultuma, you both said. Ala, he said. Alu, they said. Kateltu, I felt. Katelta, you felt. Kateltuma, or Katala, or Katelu, they felt. Three letter present future tense. In present we have he is hitting Yadribu You are hitting Tadribu We are hitting Nadribu I am hitting Adribu They are hitting for male is Yadribuna They are hitting for female is Tadribna In future we have I will hit Saadribu You will hit Satadribu We will hit Sanadribu They will hit Sayadribuna They will hit for female is Satadribna He will hit Sayadribu In Arabic there is only two tenses Past tense called Madi Something which has no doubt already happened. The other is present future, tense mudare, something which has not passed yet. In present tense verbs or doing words, the doll is mentioned at the front of the word, unlike past tense words where the door is mentioned at the end. When the prefix letter ya meaning he or they has a fatha or zabra on top it means active voice like in yadrib he is hitting and when it has dhamma or page on top of it it means passive voice like in yudrab he is being hit letter ta must be the most confusing for most people. So we explain this one. 
the letter ta when placed before a word mean either you or she. It will normally always mean you, unless there is proof in the sentence for it being a female. For example, Tadribna, they females are hitting. Tadrib, you are hitting. Past tense, Mavi, this is present future tense, Mudara. Past tense, describing an event which happened in the past. So, what will no doubt happen in the future, you are self-certain that it will happen. That you use a past tense word to argue that it will no doubt happen. As true as the past itself, it is as real as the past was real. Present future tense Mudare describes Present near future is something which is happening now. Present long-term future is something which is happening now and will continue in the long-term future. It's timrar, continuous. The present tense of the Arabic verb requires that you prefix the subject marker and suffix the mood marker to the stem of the verb. However, this is not as easy as it sounds. Especially for form 1, the words you need to add are going to be a little bit challenging. Please note the following paradigm. Fa'ala, yaf'alu, dhahaba, yadhabu. Fa'ala, yaf'ilu, raja'a, yarji'u. Fa'ala, yaf'ulu, kataba, yaktubu. Fa'ila, yaf'alu, shariba. يشرب فعل يفعل درس يدرس فعل يفعل شاهد يشاهد أفعل يفعل أقبل يقبل تفعل يتفعل تحدث يتحدث تفعل يتفعل تقابل يتقابل إن فعل ينفعل إن صرف ينصرف افتعل يفتعل اعتمد يعتمد افعل يفعل احمر يحمر استفعل يستفعل استفعل يستفعلوا. Boils of the present tense verb. There are three important boils you need to take note of when you conjugate any Arabic verb from past tense to the present tense. These include 1. The subject marker boil, which is the first boil of the verb. 2. The stem boil, which is the boil that goes on the second radical or constant of the root. 3. The mood marker boil which is the last void of the verb. The following is a short of these various voids for the third part of the Arabic verb system. Read and listen. Under what's the